bit or injured yourself? No, you've got inflammation. There's swelling and discomfort and pain, and you want the quickest, fastest, and most reasonable way of treating yourself at home? Well, I've got just the thing. We're talking about moxa today, so let's get into it. Welcome to Dialectic Healing, where we discuss a fusion of physical and mental therapies so that you can obtain and maintain your healthiest self. All right, so before you start, make sure that you have your moxa. I will leave the link for these exact ones down in the description below. You can get them on Amazon, easy peasy. Make sure you've got a lighter, ashtray, and oil or water around because the only possible side effects of this is you don't pull it off in time and you burn yourself. So in this case, I have some clear oil that has aloe vera and jojoba oil in it, just in case I burn myself. Very unlikely. In this case, I am using what they call sticks, but moxa will come in many different forms. It can come the raw form, something like this, where it's a stick on and it's more like an incense stick. Sometimes it will come as a large cigar looking tube and that is not meant to stick on your body. That's meant to hold over top and bring closely I don't use that one as often. I like having something right on me. So I'm either using the raw material right on the skin or I'm going to use these stick-ons. In today's demo, I'm going to use these stick-ons and I think this is the easiest way for you to use these at home. All right, so I have my moxa, have my ashtray, my lighter, and my oil. Now, the biggest thing here is heat is good burning is bad. Just remember that and you're all good. Now there are a lot of different ways to treat. The most common injury that I find is when people sprain their ankle, honestly. And it really, there's no specific acupuncture points that you have to use. Ideally what you're doing is a surround the dragon technique. That's in Chinese medicine, that's what we call it, surround the dragon technique. So typically what I find is that if someone has sprained their ankle, they're going to have a lot of swelling around this area and tenderness, possibly bruising around the area. At that point, you're just going to go with the tender spots where you see the most swelling. Typically it's going to be right in here around these tendons, or it's going to be back here along your Achilles tendon maybe down here where there's some bruising. The idea is to find where you feel the most tender and where there's the most swelling. So to start, I like to pull off the sticker first, just so as soon as I get this lit, then I can immediately just stick it right on. Yes. Just like so. We'll do a couple. Now, these do tend to get a touch smoky, so use a room with some ventilation and make sure, or even do them outside. Honestly, you can easily do this outside. I actually think it works great to sit outside on a nice day and and do it outside. But you can see how smoky they get. I have a ventilation in this room and I'll turn it on in a sec. Yeah, we'll just do those three points as an example. So again, they're gonna burn down nice and slow. Okay, so what is moxa? Moxa is actually a refined version of mugwort, the herb. And it has a very penetrating quality to it. So it burns black and creates a carbon emission and these little tubes actually allow that to kind of penetrate down into your skin. 
It's going to help increase your circulation, decrease any inflammation, and it triggers your body to heal that area. If you've seen some of my other shorts, there are other points in the body where you can actually increase your immune system and your immune response just with stimulating um, moxa on those points. So check out some of my other shorts. I'm just gonna do this as a quick demo, but there are a lot of other ways in which to treat moxa. And there's really no wrong way. The only wrong thing that you could possibly do here is burning yourself. That's like, there's literally no wrong way to do this. I can put them on my abdomen when I'm feeling like I'm having digestive upset. I've treated myself for some tendonitis in the past, a swollen ankle, sprained ankle. Um, I have some people that I regularly put points around the knee just to help them with some inflammation some of that achy soreness due to arthritis or weather changes, all of these things are, I mean, there's really no limit to what moxa can treat. At this point, I'm starting to feel a little bit of warmth. Feels great. I mean, if you like, if you, if heat is something you enjoy, if you enjoy using a heating pad and it helps your low back, have someone help you with these. Perhaps lay down and have someone help you so that they can be on your low back. That's another great place to put moxa is along the low back. Now, again, I will reiterate, heat is good, burning is bad. So I can only feel heat. You can see that they're kind of burning down to the end there. And I'm only just feeling heat, so I'm gonna leave them. As long as I don't feel any burning, there's no reason to take them off. Let them burn all the way down. I like the little resin smoke, and you will have, I'll show you once I take these off, there will be a little bit of resin from the herb that is on my skin. No problem. I'll usually leave that there because it has its own medicinal properties as well, topically. Okay, so now that they have done smoking, they're pretty much tapped out. So you wanna take, it's easiest with two fingers, go to at the very base. You don't wanna pull up near, cause it'll still be hot. So pull down at the bottom, not at the top. And they're done. Easy peasy. Just like that. And for someone with a swollen ankle, I'm gonna recommend that you do at least four surround the dragon, four points around the outside and inside of your ankle. And I would do about three of these in each of those spots. Three rounds, maybe two or three times a day, morning, noon, and night. And that's it. If you have questions or if you've used Moxta in the past, leave a comment below. I'd love to have a discussion on who's been using it, what kind of success they've had and where they're using it, where they find the most relief for themselves. And if you haven't used Moxa and you have more questions, please leave comments below so that I can answer them and help you treat yourself at home because this is a really effective way of doing so. Until next time, have a good one.